Q-Link is a lightweight pendant worn around your neck and is the product of a quarter century of pioneering research developed in conjunction with scientists from Stanford University and the University of California. The key to the pendant's effect is the SRT3 resonating cell. SRT, or Sympathetic Resonance Technology, fine-tunes and enhances your body's energy systems and aids the body's natural ability to cope with stress. A scientifically researched combination of elements from the periodic table are manufactured using a proprietary process to create a resonating cell that helps eliminate stress and increase focus and concentration. There is a field of energy, and this field of energy affects physicality. The concept of the biofield has been around for thousands of years. It's been called by different names. Chi, Qi, life force, prana, alon, vital, etc. The National Institutes of Health in 1994 accredited this concept of a field of energy in and around each of our cells that regulates the homeostasis, regulates basically the well-being of that particular cell, which of course adds up to your whole body. Electromagnetic fields, or EMFs for short, are those frequencies that are emitted from cell phones, computers, power lines, and that are disruptive to the human biofield. The theory is that EMF basically disorganizes or stresses the biofield, creates more noise there. Sympathetic resonance technology, or SRT, is a technology that enhances life-supporting energies and information in and around each and every one of our cells. And that means if you have like frequencies, they support each other, they enhance each other. The result of sympathetic resonance is high output compared to the low input, which means that if a system is not in sympathetic resonance with each other, like for instance the sides of this glass, then there's input and output. But if I want to maintain that level of output, I have to increase the level of input. Okay? So here's an example of a system that is in sympathetic resonance. So all the sides are the same, unlike this glass. So input, output. Obviously, there's a high degree of output relative to this simple touch of this um, stick. Another aspect of sympathetic resonance is that it builds upon itself. The output increases. This is how the Q-Link works. It resonates with this ball. So that's like the Q-Link. And feeds back to your body. The Q-Link enhances the biofield which has the information for you to become more focused. The more you wear it, the more the benefits. We've got over 25 studies that show the effects of the Q-Link. So even if you don't feel it, there's blood tests that show that your blood morphology improves. There's tests we've done with brain waves that show that you're, you're able to concentrate more easily, etc. And the other way that you notice it is by when you put it on, you might feel more energy. You might notice the effects in your lives. First of all, we recommend that you wear the Q-Link positioned basically above your sternum, which is right here. You can also wear it inside your shirt or blouse. You can wear it outside. You can wear it with the logo facing out or in. doesn't matter. It doesn't require any special care. You just put it on and that's it. The Q-Link requires no belief for it to work. In fact, we've done research with double blind and controls and and uh, actually in vitro, where there's human tissue cells completely outside of the body that have been uh, affected positively by the Q-Link. You don't need to believe it works, it will work. Just like the innate intelligence. If you are sleeping and you cut your finger, you don't have to believe that you can heal yourself. You're unconscious.
but that innate intelligence is there and it knows what to do. Like that, the Q-Link connects with that innate intelligence or that quantum intelligence, whether you believe it or not. The Q-Link doesn't wear out. That's one of the remarkable things about this technology. It is permanent. The plastic might get broken. Uh, there are things that can happen to the Q-Link, but in terms of the technology, it's permanent. How the Q-Link is powered up is very interesting because it's not a battery-operated device. Similar to the two tuning forks, if you hit one tuning fork, without hitting the other one, it will begin to ring because of sympathetic resonance. The only thing that we found that really interferes with the effectiveness of the Q-Link is high industrial magnets, which is a very unusual situation. But other than that, nothing really affects the, uh, the performance of the Q-Link.